a very warm welcome here on Canal de English and the program is the Forum. Our guest today is Ebeni Wesley Donald. Well, when we hear about him, we think about music. No, though he can pride himself to be the father of modern Cameroonian and even African music, he is also a geostrategist. Did you know that he has a military background? If not, now is an opportunity for you to discover his pedigree, not only in culture, but as well as, well as in the geostrategic domain. Please do not go away. A very warm welcome once again on Canal de English. And our guest today is Ebeni Donald Wesley. He is a musician by profession that everybody knows because he is the one whom I can, without any fear, without any shame, but proud to say he's a Cameroonian who has really revolutionized Cameroonian music and also African music indeed. He has played with big names in the United States and the world. He's back in Cameroon. But what most people fail to understand or do not know about him is that he is a soldier and a geostrategist. Mr. Ebeni Wesley, it's a pleasure to have you to here today. I'm so glad. I'm so happy to, to be received by you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, well, first of all, mm -hmm. I would like in advance to wish you Happy New Year. Thank you. And before that, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you very much. It, it, to me personally, and I think to a number of Cameroonians and Africans who will be watching you, to them also is an honor to have you. But before we go into geostrategy, to talk about the military situation of Cameroon uh, and the sub-region, I would like to ask you a question about Cameroonian music. In your opinion, what is wrong with Cameroonian music today? Oh. Let's say the, the, the politics who are managing our music are not doing it as well. Why? Because advisors of the culture, music, and arts are not doing what they're supposed to do. We are in a lot of imposture. We are in a lot of what I can say deviance. And uh, it seems like they don't need to work with professional advisors. That's the situation. That's the situation. Okay, and now when you look at musicians like, now I would like to start with this younger generation. Yeah. We have been talking about uh, Malox, uh, Sasso, Comme Sasso, uh, Cole La Petite. Uh, what is your own take on it? Is it that they are, a, they are musicians of their era or that they are just singing because there is a market to sell their product? To be a good musician, yes. to be a good singer, to be a good music writer, you have to learn it. Or you have to be born musician or artist. But let's say this is the heritage of the modernism. Things are going now as the world wants it. Mm -hmm. Everything is modernized. We are working with comp computerizing or computerized systems. Mm -hmm. And uh, most of our stars was not designed to be stars. But they forced the destiny to be stars. That's why you can see all those people. They are not working enough. Mm -hmm. They are not 
searching or making research mm -hmm. as they supposed to do, but the politics are leaving things to be like that. Long as the country is going, yeah, there's no problem. Up and down, yeah. That's why. Right. Okay. Let's say. Mm -hmm. Let, 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 let's take an example like uh, Collet Petite. Yes. Yeah. It's something natural. Collet Petite. Collet Petite, yes. Myself. I'm doing it. Yeah, exactly. But I'm doing it secretly. Secretly, yes. Not openly. Mm -hmm. huh? uh, today, this is like uh, our national item. Mm -hmm. Let's say for the coming six months, everywhere, Colella Petit, Colella Petit, Colella Petit. But they should have, I mean, the politics should have taken some measures before, 20 years before. Uh, we hear songs like, Wawu Jomi Tele, Wawu Jomi Tele. This is not, this is not, this is not fair with our. Our, our culture of Africans. Of oh, oh, yes, but excuse me. When you say "wawu uh, jomi tele," yeah. what does that mean? Oh, this means. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, I understand. You are dying, and the thing is standing up. All right. Which thing? Which thing is standing up? Oh, Which means that. And who sang the "wawu jomi tele"? Who was the musician? Who sang uh, I don't know. It's from uh, someone from the south or the central. Uh, uh, Pro, uh, from regions, regions, regions of Cameroon, yeah, yeah. and which means that those Mawu, Jomitele, yeah. Mani Bela, Katino, uh, they are worse than pet Colé la Petite. <laughs> Look, exactly. Je veux faire un peu. Il fallait faire un peu. Faire quoi? <laughs> <laughs> Il fallait faire un peu. But, but the other time, yes, we know that every day, yes. Inside of myself, when I'm working hard, after a hard day, I need to eat, I need to rest, I need to, I need to fare and purr. Exactly. But I don't need to... To, to tell everybody. No, no. That you will fare and purr. Look, look at that. Okay. Where goes our country? That means, the, I think, if I understand, the music of our country is at the image of our country. Yes. Okay. Exactly. 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 Everything is up and down. No discipline. Okay. So you, you, you are of the opinion there is no discipline. Cameroon has become wow. an undisciplined country. Yes. We are already inside. And it will be very difficult. It will be very, very difficult to come out of that. Who's going to take the weight to stop that? Who? Okay, now let me ask you a question before we go to other things. Now there is a, the prefect or the divisional officer for the MIFI division, yeah. Mr. Fevor, who, take, who took an, a decision to ban Kole La Petit within the MIFI division. And the Ministry of Interior came and overturned the ban. What do you think of it? Oh, that was a strategical error. You know, the prefer is a, like a military man. He's working on that discipline. He should have proposed it to his hierarchy. Mm. He should have proposed it. And the, the hierarchy should have taken measure and final decision before bringing it out, not in the MIFI, but all over the country. All over the country, yes. That was his mistake. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we are living in very critical situation. People are thinking to do everything was bad to hurt the system. And that's it. Okay. Yeah. So you think, for example, the prefect of the MIFI wanted to hurt the system? <laughs> no. No, not really. No, the people. Okay, the yeah. people, right. Yeah, he thought this was a good decision. Yes. But 
he make an he make an uh, strategic error mistake. He should have proposed it to the hierarchy. To the hierarchy, mm -hmm. and then the hierarchy should have really took the measure. Yes, for all the country. All the country, not but just he, in. He it. did it alone, uh -huh. and. The, the, the decisional people of the country are afraid of the people now. Okay. They are afraid of the people. Of, of the people. They yeah. don't need any tenses. They don't need any shock against the people. Look at the motorcycles. We know that it was a mistake to leave them Taking, talking over the country is a revolution on the street. But the government, the hierarchy, are afraid to face to this. To face them. To shock. Yeah. Yes. And this is what, what, what's happening with Colé la Petite. Okay. Are you, if I understand, Colé la Petite might not be a good music, but the people like it. Simply because to the, hurt to hurt the government to, yeah to hurt okay to hurt the government I know what I'm talking about all right I understand okay 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 now okay we are going to now come back it is true we are very happy <coughs> when we have the point of view of a professional like you we are very happy but what as I said to our viewers who did not who some of them know you but some don't know that you have other feathers on your cap <laughs> which means that. You, beside music, as you know it best, you also are a soldier. And now, could you tell them a little bit your military career, if you wish? Of course. Okay, yes. Of course. My native name is Ebeni Bombay Dihan. I was born in this country, in Cameroon. I'm native was born here at Douala. My father was native of Yabasi. My mother from Bonaprizo, Douala. And uh, I consider myself as a Cameroonian. I started my military vocation here in Cameroon, Camp de la Valeur, in Bonanjo. And uh, I was the best, the best student, what we used to call major of my promotion. And uh, by the time he was a captain, the late General Takasongola was my teacher and trainer. And uh, he still. Is he still living mm -hmm. at the West Province around Bafan? By the time he was captain, Gama Le Pierre was also my student. No, my, oh, let's excuse me. Mm -hmm. I was his student. Student, yes. And I went to Europe. And I was discovered, I was lucky to be discovered by General Alexander Haig, who was the commander of the NATO in Europe. Mm -hmm. I was discovered. And he asked me to join the, the U.S. Army. Mm -hmm. And I accepted mm -hmm. to join the U.S. The US Army. Army yeah. So I was trained in the U.S. Army as officier de l'arme blindée. Ah, in the U.S. <laughs> Army, yeah, okay. Voilà. Officier de l'arme blindée, in the tanks. Mm -hmm. voilà. Mechanical brigade, exactly. And after that, I was affected in the rapid, the first B in the world. The world, that's the U.S. B. Voilà, the rapid deployment forces. I was second lieutenant, lieutenant 
and captain in the operational captain. Wow. Yeah, operational captain in the battlefields. Yeah. Based in Rain Main Air Base, Frankfurt, West Germany. Oh yeah. Yeah, I was there. <laughs> and uh, by the moment, I'm a full colonel or ERG. Infantry colonel or ERG. Uh, I've got a lot of experiences, fire experiences. Yes. The first war of Saddam Hussein. Yeah, that's 1990, 91. 91. 91, yes. 91. I was, I was there with the 215th Brigade, Mechanical Brigade. Mechanical Brigade. Yes. In Iraq. Uh, yes, I was there. Yeah. After that, I was copted. I was copted. And uh, by... General Kavunga, mm -hmm. who was the military attache of Angola in Paris. Mm -hmm. uh, Angola was in trouble. Yes, against the UNITA. Uh, voilà. Angola was, the Republic of Angola was in trouble. Just like we are in trouble now. Exactly, just like we are in trouble now. Uh, voilà. yes. and I was admitted to come and give a help to brothers and friends. I don't know, in certain times they used to call them mercenaries, but I was not a mercenary. You were a mercenary. Because I was working for the for Angolan the, government. The government in the National Army. And, and Forces Armada Angolanos. Exactly. When you were in the Angolan Armed Forces, yeah. did you only stay in Luanda or you went on the battlefield? Oh, oh. I spent only two weeks in Luanda. Only two weeks just to be presented to the chief, the chief of staff of the army, Angola's army, who was uh, uh, what we are calling in French, chef d'état major. Chef d'état major, yeah, the, the, the chief of army staff. Yeah. I was presented to General Jean de Matos. Jean de Matos, yes, yeah, at yeah. the yes. Yeah, yeah. He was, he was the chief of staff, and I worked with uh, General Lucas Zengo. Mm -hmm. And then I was affected to show what I, I know to do. Exactly, on the battlefield. On the battlefield. I went to Quito Carnavale. Exactly, after that, that <laughs> battle of Quito Carnavale. Well, uh, I think that I, battle was a decisive point. Well, yeah, yeah. And I, I got my fame. In the battle of Quito for Carnavale. Quito Carnavale. And... Uh, I was so, so, so That was in 1977 or 79, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I was then, uh, I was then uh, surnamed Colonel Bonbon. Colonel Bonbon. <laughs> Why were they calling you Colonel Bonbon? <laughs> yeah, Colonel yeah. Bonbon, because <laughs> <laughs> I always ask on the battlefield, uh -huh. Bonbon. Instead of chewing gum. Oh, chewing gum. Uh, they, they call so, me. Yeah, you like a lot of sweets and you're just saying. Well, well, it's Colonel Bonbon. And after, after Angola, after that, then I went to Havana in Cuba. In Cuba? Yes. Ah, that's For good. the Forces Armada Angolanos. Mm -hmm. I went there to the Corps Superior, Superior de Guerra. Mm -hmm. Corps Superior de Guerra, mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. Infanteria. Infanteria, yes. Yeah. Okay. Then I came back again to the battlefield and to sack Jonas Savimbi from Wambo. Wambo, yeah, that was the headquarters of, of UNITA. Voilà. Exactly. He was sacked from Wambo uh, to, to uh, his new capital from L Wambo. Lobito? No. My base, my private base was in Porto Ambuin. Porto Ambuin. Right. Okay. Not far to Lobito. Not far, far from Lobito. Yeah, no. And from Wambo. Is it not Wish? 
No, no, wish. I was also in the battle of wish. Oh, wish, yeah. yeah. Okay. For the coffee. For the coffee, yeah, exactly. The coffee. Okay, now that's very good. People now understand that you really know your your beats. You are a good soldier, and your surname in Angola was Colonel Bonbon. <laughs> now let me ask you a question. Let's come back to Cameroon. Yeah. What is happening in the far north, the Boko Haram? Is it an ordinary insurgency with origin from Nigeria, or it is? A Cameroonian rebellion. You know, let me tell the truth to the Cameroonians. Please do. Yeah. What's happening in the far north started as a rebellion, internal rebellion. And I know what I'm talking about. But the Cameroon, Cameroon armed forces in the loyalty to serve the country pushed the rebellion. The rebellion started in some phases. What is the rebellion? I don't want to do legally things. I don't want to do like the government wants. Wants, yes. So the rebellion starts started by the Cooper de Route. Mm -hmm. Highway arm robbers. Yeah, well, yeah. Arm robbers, Cooper de Route. Who was stabilized by the B, created for that. Mm -hmm. The B was created for that. The first chief of the B, I work with him, but very secretly, because mm -hmm. we know each other. Late Avi Sivan. You know, this is from Israel. Yeah, okay, yes. This is from Israel. From Israel, yeah. I was also trained in Israel. In Israel, yes. Okay. After the stabilization of those people who used to attack, kill, take money, jewelries, and the rest. After them, then they started to kill our animals, braconier. Yes, the poaching, yes. Yeah. When this was discovered and stabilized, they start with prise d'otage. Mm -hmm. Hostage taking. Yes. And let me tell you, we know that this cannot, this shouldn't be done without connivances of the people of, of the country. Yes. And do you suspect any person in Cameroon or from Oh, Cameroon? we suspect, you know, we suspect many people, but it's not diplomatically, politically correct correct to denounce them. Yeah, to give names, well, not to, naming names. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, now, after that, I want to give you a strategic and uh, design. Yes, rapidly, because the program is coming to an end. Yes. Voila, voila. Listen, let's say Daido is Cameroon. Exactly. Aqua is Nigeria. Nigeria. But they are the same people we are talking. Bana, eh, eh, Malane, Amuni, Angwa, oh, eh, eh, oh, eh, eh. Exactly. They speak the same language. Yeah, voilà. yeah, the same language. So when they kidnap people there, they bring, they bring here, they are talking, oh, you know, they keep this one, you know, we are going, coming and share the money. It's exactly that. So the rebellion starts in Cameroon, started in Cameroon. But the Cameroon armed forces, was strong enough mm -hmm. to counter them. Yeah. To stop and stab stabilize the battlefield. Now, remember, I want you to remember, you people, there was a time Mr. Shikau said he don't have nothing to do with what with what happening, what is happening in Cameroon. Exactly. But Six months after, 
he declared that Paul Bia, Paul Bia's army, this Devi army, I'm going to show you what, I what, I'm, what I'm able to do. Why? Because the people who was defeated, defeated militarily, yes. Yes, militarily. Voilà, went to join the ranks of Shekau. Shekau of Bo Nigerian Boko Haram. Yes. And then even the ex rebels of Central Africa, the ex Central Republic of Africa. Yes, Central African Republic, yes. And, and the ex rebels of Chad. Chad was packed, all of them, in the Borno state in Nigeria. So the Boko Haram used them as experts and soldiers to fight. That's yeah. why the Boko Haram started geographically to attack Cameroon. Cameroon, exactly, and Chad. And, 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 well, and the Cameroonian army was strong enough to stabilize the, front. the, ba the battle the battlefront mm -hmm. now today let me tell you nigeria cameroon and chad have encircled the boko haram right now right now that's a good I got friend inside who are colonels and generals inside they are there nigerians uh, cameroonians and chadians Chadians. okay that's why now they are using other tactics. Tactics, yes. The tactics of explosions. Explosions, suicide bombing. Exactly. But what I can tell you yes. is very soon, military and step by step, the Boko Haram is going to finish. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But the internal problem of Cameroonians is still on the page. On the page. That's very good, uh, Donna Wesley. It's a pleasure to have you. And you said very soon it's going to be victory over Boko Haram, yeah. but the Cameroonian internal, internal problem, problem is still is there. It's still there because our brothers of the far north wanted to take over and govern Cameroon Cam. after Paul Bia. After Paul Bia. Great. That's uh, that's the problem. The problem is that the guys of the our brothers from the far north want to take over after Bia to govern Cameroon. Thank you very much, uh, Colonel Wesley. It's a pleasure to have had you here. Can they make it politically? Is it possible? Can they make it military? No. They cannot succeed militarily nor politically. Okay. Because the Cameroonians are tight. The, the Cameroonians you know? are tight. Yes. Whatever. United. Yeah, yeah. We are tight. One for all, all for one. All for one. Whatever we are not agree with the people who are governing, because yes. we have problem. Huh? We have a problem. A, yes. lot, a lot, a lot, of problems. All right. Okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's very interesting <laughs> talking with you today, and I hope and I think our viewers are also happy. They have discovered another phase <laughs> of uh, Donald Wesley. Once again, thank you. It's a pleasure having you here. I wish you in advance a merry Christmas. And perhaps, if God willing, a prosperous new year, 2016. <laughs>